Well, good day to you, one and all. It is I, Justin, ooh, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. So, tremendous excitement abound in the Hawkins household because uh, in a, what, two, uh, just very soon, I'm going to be boarding a ship called the Monsters of Rock Cruise ship, and uh, I'm going to do some stuff there. And one of the artists on there is Ace Freely. Freely? Um, and they've got a new song called Cherry Medicine, which came out on the 22nd of February, and I'm very excited to uh, listen to it and give you my thoughts on it. <sighs> and then have to face them uh, at the buffet on the boat. Can you imagine? Justin Hawkins rides again, again. In honour of performing at the Monsters of Rock cruise this weekend, um, today I'm going to look at Ace Fraley's latest single, Cherry Medicine, because he too will be performing upon the cruise. Um, in a recent interview with VRP Rocks, this is great, this, Ace praised his new album. 10,000 volts, saying, I am very happy with the way the record turned out. Now, a lot of times I've recorded records where sometimes you look at three or four songs on the album and you consider them to be not as good as some of the other ones and you kind of consider them as filler. Um, but I don't think there's any filler on this album. I think every song has merit to it. He added, I think it's one of the best albums I ever did. I mean, I think it's probably as good as my solo album in uh, 1978, which everybody seems to think is my best album to date. But I think this new album is equally as good as my 1978 solo album, and I think there's more than one hit single on the album. So if I was a Kiss fan or an Ace Freely fan, I'd go out and buy it immediately when it's released on <laughs> February the 23rd, because you're in for a treat. That's excellent. Hey guys, um, I've just been on a journey of self-discovery really because I, I found myself wondering how do these beat makers do it? I mean, they're obviously geniuses. I have found this uh, utility called SoundRaw.io. I think it uses AI to generate beats that you can do rapping and your Timberland stuff over. And uh, yeah, I just, I've just created something that uh, I want to share with you. Genre-wise, I chose lo-fi hip-hop because I've been there since the beginning. I'm all about the old school. In terms of mood, Sexy, obviously. I've built something that starts off with a low intensity intro. Second section is also low, and then it goes high intensity. That's when I'll start doing the sort of Timberland, you know, just stuff in the background. And then a drop, and then a little bit of high intensity stuff and an outro. Here we go. Immediately, you can hear that it doesn't have that horrible sort of AI generated saturation to it. It sounds like real music. That's what Timberland would do. Ow, ow, ow. R to the A to the P, P, I, N, G. Rapping, you don't normally associate that with me, but I have had occasion to do it with limited success, admittedly, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm rather fond of rap. And here's a drop here. Come on, you guys, I can't hear you. And whilst my chosen uh, genre will always be old school hip hop. Um, it's also good for rock. You can, do a, you can do rock stuff. It has acoustic guitars and electric guitars and all sorts. And also, Sound Raw are upping their game and there's a 50% discount available to you if you use the code which is in the description and also in the pinned comment. Please guys, create some beats because rappers like me need beat makers like you and all you need is soundraw.io. So let's click on the Ace Fraley and discover whether this is filler or killer, I will decide. Okay. So here we go. When that first band, it's like a bossa nova. You know, like the. No, it's not like a bossa nova. It's like a bossa nova, but instead of being on the uh, on the two and the two and then every subsequent third thing. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not that. And I also thought, mm. call you, need your hearts on fire. It's not that either. Um, you'll be pleased to know. When you came into my life that day, you really stole my heart. <laughs> I love him. He's so cool, isn't he? He's got everything. Facial hair, uh, located in the, in the serious array. This is what you call a serious beard. Um, aviators, 
which I really hope he's going to be wearing on the boat because that's that's I'm going to be wearing mine and we we're going to be the aviator twins, me and Ace. Just you'll see us poolside, uh, just talking to each other, not being able to see each other's eyes. No need. It's not necessary to meet a man's gaze necessarily when you're when you're talking to them. You know, it's just it's quite natural to have uh, some sort of reflective shield to allow you to process thoughts and you know tell each other some bullshit without it's just two guys in sunglasses shut up i never thought i'd find that special one you're always on my mind i really love the way he sort of just vocalizes this stuff it's really really spelling it out you know it's kind of like this you can be in no doubt as to what these lyrics are Sometimes when, when you get a mumbly lead vocalist and you're looking at, um, like on Spotify, you're looking at the lyrics, like so it happens to me a lot. I, I look at Darkness lyrics on Spotify. They're always fucking wrong. It's really annoying. And sometimes it's because AI misinterprets it, but there's no way anybody can ever misinterpret the words that Ace Freely is singing in this song. So clear. Clear as a bell. I knew I had to change my ways for sure To keep you by my side so it sounds like it's going dun, dun, dun. to a G, and then You're I like that captivating. So fascinating. Captivating is fascinating. This is. I love you cherry medicine. Whoa! The first thing that that reminded me of was an Oasis song. It might not be, it might not be one of the main album tracks from the first two records, but it's something like, is it Acquiesce or something like that? It's um, one of those sort of bonus tracks. What was it called? Oh, no! It is. It's the Supersonic, isn't it? He he lives under a waterfall. You know. It's, AI would not be able to decipher what I just sang. It's really similar to Supersonic. You make me feel better when you're in your black leather. You make me feel better when you're in your black leather. Well, it's the least I can do, Ace. Wait till you see what I'm going to be wearing on the boat. You satisfy my every need. You put an ending to the chase. This is really cool. This is a song about somebody settling down, but not necessarily, you know, quenching the urge to be a rock and roll icon. You know, this is somebody who supports him, nourishes him emotionally, and he's just celebrating his partner. I think it's wonderful. Is the bit that's really supersonicking it for me. It's a lovely couplet at the end there, isn't it? You make me feel better when you're in your black leather. Into a guitar solo, go on. Love that Chuck Berry stuff there. It's just, it could be Angus, couldn't it? So fascinating. It's good for making a point, that, isn't it? Actually pointing. I love, you, <laughs> I love this video. It's just gone up a gear. And the way they've done that is everyone's dancing and there's balloons. <laughs> Fucking awesome. I love this. It's, like, it's kind of like the children's birthday party meets rock video vibe. You make me feel when you're in your Black leather. I'd have gone, uh, you make me feel better in your cognac leather. You know, that nice sort of brown hue that you sometimes get where the patina makes it a bit shiny in places. That's the leather that I'm turned on by now. I'm not, um, on furniture, anyway, I like it. I like it. I like it. doesn't matter. You heal my every 
I think if he'd gone for cognac clever, it would be more like sort of, you know, uh, vintage gymnasium equipment, like that horse thing that people do gymnastics on and stuff. So, yeah, that's probably why he avoided the cognac clever. But I do think it's a more sensual choice, you know, colour wise. It just is. Cognac leather. Anybody use the comment section below. Which colour leather should we be celebrating here? Black or cognac? They rhyme as well. We could do a song about our favourite levers, couldn't we? We could do like, black. is it black or is it cognac? Has anyone ever rhymed black with cognac in a song? Please use the comment section below to tell me. If they haven't, I'm just about to do it. Cognac leather. Or for the vegans, make me feel better in your cognac pleather. Never seen cognac pleather. It's difficult to do, I reckon. Probably have to wax it with something. In your cognac pleather. I was doing the harmony. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you're the one. And he did that. Actually, did that. He selected an individual in the photo shoot and said, You're the one. Oh, I bet they're delighted. Gotta get me some. <laughs> Gotta get me some. It's just great. The the choreography on this is exactly what you want to see. Ah, I mean, there's a temptation to imagine that, like, the writing process of an Ace Freely long player is going to be like a perfunctory exercise just to get the riffs out. It isn't like that. This stuff is really kind of heartfelt, like... Uh, it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful song. It's just about him celebrating his partner who, you know, occasionally wears leather. Not in the, necessarily in a sort of, in that sort of weird sex club way, but just, you know, just likes wearing it perhaps um, to go to the sh shops or, or when they go to a more formal sort of dining experience. Maybe she's, um, or they, uh, he or they, or doesn't it? It's just leather stuff. We all love leather, don't we? Um, in a way, you know. It's obviously the cruelty. It doesn't oh. cognac pleather. I think you know the woke version of it would be cognac pleather. Justin hmm. Hawkins rides again, again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Watch one of these two videos here and uh, join the mailing list. Come and see me do my stuff in Hayes. Oh, and if you're going to be on the Monsters of Rock cruise, uh, yeah. Look for a guy standing next to another guy, both of whom are wearing um, aviator sunglasses, and one of them might be me. <laughs> All right. See you later, everyone. See you on the waves. Yes. Okay.